Welcome to our wonderful Victorian Town Hall, which stands boldly at the heart of Wokingham Town Centre. The building itself was built on the site of a market that was granted as long ago as 1227 in the reign of Henry III. Early records suggest that there would have been a clock house or guild hall here, and that was in existence before Queen Elizabeth I granted the town a charter in 1583. This is an artist's impression of the original building, and although it was substantially renovated in 1819, the building had become so dilapidated by 1857 that it was decided to demolish this old timber guild hall and to build a replacement. The newly built town hall served mainly as a courthouse and a police station. The police station sign can still be seen near the roof of the town hall uh, if you stand in the marketplace and look up above the mayor's parlour you'll see the notice which says county police station the building itself was designed by reading architects Poulton and woodman and it was built by reading builders wheeler and woodcroft it was opened on the 6th of june 1860. the new town hall cost the immense sum of three thousand five hundred pounds but no less than £2,000 of that was provided by the County Police Committee themselves. 500 came from the Corporation members and the rest from public subscription. A blue plaque can be seen on the Town Hall commemorating the year in which it was built. It remained as a courthouse and police station until 1905 when the new police station was built at the corner of Recty Road. There was a long tradition of a market being associated with the town hall and it was continued as a fowl market was held under the arches from time to time. In 1877, permission was granted for one horse-drawn fire engine to be housed in one of these arches under the recently built town hall. The arches later housed motorised fire engines which were specially designed to fit into the spaces we probably wouldn't have had the town hall because we couldn't have afforded it had it not been for the fact that we took finance from the police so that they could put the police station there and the prisoners who were kept waiting trial in the three cells at the back. Two of those cells can still be seen. When their trial was due, the prisoners would have been led from these cells up to the main hall in the town hall, which was then the courtroom. High up on the wall of the courtyard is a penny farthing bicycle. This was called an ordinary bicycle at the time to distinguish it from the safety bicycles with two evenly sized wheels which were being introduced to replace the rather dangerous and precarious penny farthing style of bicycle. It's thought that this bicycle was the one that the Trill brothers, Pip and Jack, who owned the cycle shop in the town, took turns to ride in the carnival processions Someone later donated it to the town and it's been here ever since. It's believed that the superintendent may have kept his horses here as there are recorded memories of local people seeing him driving his carriage out from the courtyard through the large wooden gates. From the outside it looks very much as it did in the 1860s but sometime after the police moved to Rectory Road the courtyard was renovated and covered over to use as an indoor market in the late 1970s. It was then converted and opened as an Italian restaurant in 2005. A number of changes have also been made to the internal structure. The town hall is currently a grade two star listed building.